but let's talk about the DLZ and DCS and the F-16. On the right here, this is the range on your FCR. It's the same as the range on your FCR down here. As you can see, it's 40, and that's 40 as well. The circle is the allowable steering error circle. So this circle is the, is the limitation where you need to put this smaller circle, which is the attack steering cue, inside of it. Once you put it inside of it, this gives the missile the best geometry to be able to, to, to hit the target. So if you need to lead it, the circle will be in the direction that you need to lead the target just in case they're turning in a different direction. This arrow right here is the vector of your target that you have locked up. So in this, they're pretty much coming straight on to me, but not quite straight on. But for the most part, it's hot. If they're going a cold from you, it'll be at the 6 o'clock position. If they're beaming, it'll be on the 9 or the 3 o'clock. And this box right here is your lock target when it's in view of the HUD. This F31 means that it's the FCR distance. It is calculating the distance of the lock target. And right now we are 31 miles out. This over here is the amount of missiles that you have. Right now I'm, I have the AIM-120 selected MRMs. So that tells you how many that, that there are on your rail. If you have different ones like a C and a, and a B model, you will only have it'll only show you the amount that you have with the same model. So if you have two C's and two B's, you only have two right here. If you switch over, it'll say two as well. So only, it only tells you how many, how many of the same model that you have on your aircraft. As we get closer, this arrow right here will, will uh, uh, seem like it's getting, is getting a little lower. And this DLZ will actually expand to put that in an area where it corresponds to the percentage of kill of your missile just going to be shot at that position. This first arrow right here is our arrow, range aerodynamic. This is the this represents the maximum kinematic range of the missile. Thus the longest the longest distance you could shoot the missile if the target does not move. If the target moves, this will obviously change. But if the target does not move or maneuver, your missile will hit. This number right here is the closing distance or the closing speed of both the aircraft. So it's basically your speed and their speed added together based on what direction they're, they're flowing. So being that they're flying a little bit to our right, their full airspeed is not being calculated inside of this. If they were hot on us, then it will be calculated and it will be a little faster. So right now we're at our arrow. DCS does not model this, but this is when you could loft the missile. It will give you a number up here and you can loft that. You have to add that to your current attitude. So if sometimes it says 15, you got to go up 15 degrees. If you're at 5 degrees already, you have to go up to, to 20 degrees. So this is the loft angle you have to add to your current attitude to get a better shot. This next line here is R pi, and it is the range probability of intercept. It's same as R opt, but without having to loft the missile. And the A pole means that it's the distance the missile on the rail, this one right here, this is pre and this is post once you shoot the missile. Here is the pre-A pole, means active. So the, you will be 17 miles away when the missile goes MPRF, which is pit bull. That's A pole. So if I shoot the missile right now, I will be 17 miles away when it, when it goes A pole. But at this moment, DCS doesn't model MPRF and HPRF. So this A is actually pit bull in DCS. So when you launch a missile, you get some more symbology down here. This is post-missile launch. So this is the missile that's in the air right now. See this 16M? That is how far I will be when the missile goes active. And this A28 is telling me how long it's going to take for the missile to go active. So when you fire a missile, you'll see some more symbology down here. This is post-missile launch. This is the missile that's in the air right now. Right now it's telling me I will be 16 miles away when the missile goes active. That will be in 12 seconds. It's telling me right here. This countdowns to zero. Once this goes to zero, that means that the missile is active and it's tracking the target. The number up here is pre-launch. So missiles, the missile on the rail, if I shoot right now, I will be 14 miles away when the missile goes active. So this is post-launch, and this is pre-launch. So now that the missile has gone active, it gives me a T, termination. So this is this the calculated time for the missile to, uh, to explode. It doesn't mean that it hit the target. The target could dodge it completely. It's still going to go to zero. So you have to keep that in mind. This does not mean the bandit is dead. It just means that the calculated time for the missile to, to time out is, has extinguished. This 11F here, this is now the F pole, 
This means I will be 11 miles away from the bandit when the missile hits the, the aircraft, which will be in 25 seconds. Up here, if I shoot another missile, I will be 13 miles away when the missile goes active. So this T has gone to zero, so the time has extinguished, and the aircraft has been destroyed. So it's pretty good. So here, now, nine miles away, if I shoot the missile now, and it'll go active in seven seconds for this this uh, contact right here. So this is before I've shot. Right here is RTR, range turn and run. So this range right here means that if the bandit were to turn around, going the same speed and same altitude, they would not be able to get away from the missile. If they gain speed, decrease in altitude, do man more maneuvers like weaving, then they still might be able to get away from this. So this is only if they do that that basic maneuver outwards to uh, get away from the, the missile. They will not be able to get away from it. And down here, T14, so I'm pretty close, six miles away. So right here, it means if I shot right now, it will take 14 seconds to hit. If I shot right now, I would have, uh, I will be four miles away from the bandit when it hits, being that it has 4F right here. Being that I shot, now there's a symbology down here, because I shot one already, has 3F. These are both the same because I just shot. T11, it's a little bit closer because I wait a little longer. But this up here is the missile that I have on the rail now. Just remember that. This is a pre-shot and this is post-shot. And then this one right here is the minimum of range of the missile. So if you shoot way closer here, it probably won't even arm and it probably won't even explode. So just keep that in mind when you're really close.